Hi, this is Steve from NK Sports Podiatry. Thanks for tuning into this vlog. Um, as it's January, and quite a lot of our patients are all preparing for marathons in the March and the April time, I thought it'd be a good, good chance just to go through um, three, big, three big rules and three big tips uh, for January as part of your marathon training. Right, number one, be careful with your training. Now it's January and you're in the, mar you're in the marathon year now, you, yeah. patients up their training far too quick. You know, they want to get to that half marathon, the marathon. Um, so they will whack up the training, then the injuries, the, the niggles all start creeping in. It's a big tip. Think of the end game. Work backwards. Be methodical with your training and the volume of running you do and build week upon week. You know, you don't even need to hit the 26.2 miles in your training run. You know, 22, 23, you know, is absolutely fine. More than enough to get you through, um, to get you through race day. Um, my second second big tip is uh, it's a great time of year, January now, to start experimenting with your food uh, for race day. You don't want to be doing that in March and April. Great time to do it now. See what works with you, with your energy stores on your long runs, um, how your stomach's coping with food as well on, on the long runs. Um, I personally find uh, I, I'm, I'm quite boring. Banana, porridge and honey, morning before I run. Uh, but some patients much prefer more toast, etc. Uh, but it's a good time to start experimenting now. Also with hydration tablets as well, or sachets. Uh, I use the SOS Hydration Range, uh, coconut flavor, brilliant, amazing. It's not too sweet, and it hydrates me. Um, so another good tip there. Uh, the third one um, is footwear. Being a podiatrist, a bit biased, but footwear is really, really key. I used to work in a running shop and the patients, uh, well customers then, would come in Friday, Saturday before the marathon, all right, I had to get my new shoes and we were like, what? So trying, if you do get new shoes, get them six, four weeks before your, your race. If you're not injured and you've got no issues, but you just need a new pair of shoes, just get the upgraded version or the same version. Um, to know if your shoes have worn out, have a look at them, Have Look at the tread, so that the grip underneath it, see if it's worn. Take the sock liner out, have a look at the sock liner, that gives you a, um, a good bit of information to see if it's worn out. Look to see if there's any, any rips or, or slits in, in the mesh. Again, if you, can, if you can spot them in four to six weeks before the race, they're only gonna get worse. Um, and also, you know, if you're going past the running shop, try them on and try a new pair on and you'll feel instantly they'll feel more cushioned and got a bit more life in them. Um, so again, good thing just to keep things like blisters at bay and also to, 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 uh, to reduce your, the risk of getting injured as well. Okay, so there's some three tips in January to go forwards with the marathons and your half marathon trainings. As part of um, NK Sports Podiatry, we're gonna be offering marathon bundle packages uh, to help um, if those injuries do crop up or if you, you wanna look at your gait or, or or get more efficient with your running. Um, these these bundles will be released soon, so watch this space. Watch, you know, look out for NK Sports Podiatry on your your Facebooks, your Twitters, and your Instagrams, and all that jazz. Um, and some more details will be announced about it soon. So, run sensible, and uh, we'll be in touch with more vlogs later. Bye.